My name is Ben, and I get depressed sometimes. You all right? Oh, hey mate, you all right? Hello, hello. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. How are you on? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Oh, good on Me you, too. Mate. Me too. Well done, bro. We'll stand here together. All right, so for those that don't know, I'm Fergus Crawley. I'm one of the Gymshark athletes, and I've had a pretty negative experience with my own mental health in the past. I suffered from depression in silence for almost two years and actually attempted suicide in May of 2016. So I'm here today, just on my way in from Birmingham, just to meet Ben, hear all about what he's achieved with the sign, what he's hoping to achieve, his own experiences, and we're just gonna basically share the experience together because the whole point of this is solidarity and suffering, solidarity between men, solidarity between anybody suffering their mental health. The more that we can get together and the more that we can stand as one, the more of an impact we can have on the stigma. So let's go and find Ben. The first time you actually set out to take the sign out into public, yeah. what were you hoping to achieve that day? The overall goal was to just help one person. That's what we wanted. You know, we, we came up with the idea and we thought that by standing with the sign in public, that was the best way to kind of reach people on a personal level. So the essence of it is talking, isn't it? Yeah, it's simple. Point. Yeah. It's talking. It's as simple as that. You know, with friends, family, a stranger, it doesn't matter who, a professional. That initial conversation, we wanted to share, that's the most important part. And that's kind of a part of your own experience and why you get depressed sometimes, isn't it? Over lockdown, you had your own challenges, do you want to just share with us what those challenges were and why it's led you to this point ultimately? I had some personal things that happened. My parents got divorced, which was a massive change in my life. The whole kind of story began when myself and my friend Matt started a YouTube channel together. When you're spending so much time with someone, you get to know someone a lot more. And even though I'd spent you know, every single day with him, I didn't know anything about his mental health. And he opened up to me, I, I opened up to him, and we started that conversation around you know, depression, anxiety, and everything like that. Once we had that conversation, I went, right, we need to spread this message. We need to share that it's all right to talk, and we shouldn't be ashamed of that. It shouldn't be something that's taboo or seen as you know, weak or anything like that. So. We thought the best option would to be was to sound with a sign in a train station somewhere super busy and let people have a look inside my head and that's how the idea came about. Thank you again for sharing your story, thank you again for putting it on a sign and letting others share theirs. It's a powerful thing you've done so from me to you it's, um, it's something I know firsthand how powerful it can be. Yeah, thank you man. thank you.